Hi, I'm Heather, I play violin, and this is Case Files. I want to show you my case. The instrument inside, all the secret compartments, all the hidden pieces, and finally how the instrument makes it sound. Let's take a look. Are you ready? And here's the inside. The first thing is the violin blanket. Just keeps it comfy, cozy, and warm. And then the violin itself. And there's a little holder for the shoulder rest. And then the bow. And I'll tighten it up. Now it's ready to go. One of the nice things about violin is there are not a lot of pieces to put together. So I just need the violin and the shoulder rest. It keeps the instrument away from my body just a little bit so that all the good sound vibrations can carry out to the audience and not get lost just against my skin. Now that everything's put together, let's take a look at how the sound is made. I have four strings on the violin, so I can get four different notes without even using my left hand at all. If I just use my right hand, I can get these four notes. And I can make those notes loud, or I can make them soft. I can make them long, or I can make them short. I can also not use my bow at all, but use this finger instead with what's called pizzicato. It sounds like this. And then when I add in the fingers of my left hand, then I can get lots and lots of notes. I'm gonna put this off to the side so we can take a look at the case itself. Take a look at this. I have one large compartment, and this is where I keep all of the supplies that I need, like a pencil, rosin. Rosin is the stuff that goes on the bow, just on the hair part, and that makes it sticky enough that it can grab onto the string when I play. I also have a couple pieces that I use sometimes. You can see the pegs up here, and this is how I tune, but sometimes the pegs get really sticky. And if they're too sticky and they're not moving enough, I can put this one on, and this makes them move more easily. If they're slipping and they're moving too much and not sticking, I can put this one on, and that makes them more sticky. Or I can use a pencil even, just a little bit on the edges, and that'll help make the pegs slip again. I also have a cloth that I put under my chin on top of the violin. That helps keep it from rubbing if I have a long rehearsal. And I have a hairband, because you just never know. And this is a mute, and if I put it onto the violin, it makes the sound a lot quieter. So here's what it sounds like without the mute. And then here's what it sounds like with the mute. So that's everything that's in the big compartment. I also have spaces for four bows. And when it's time to fix the bow, I have a second case. So this little one is kind of like the little cage that you might take your dog to the vet in. So this is a case for the bow when it needs to go to the doctor. There are people who specialize in replacing the hair on bows. I have a tube that holds extra strings. Those wear out too. And I have a big zippered compartment at the top of the case. And that's where I can keep music. So that's everything that's on the inside of my case. Now I'll show you a piece of music for my instrument. This little squiggly thing is called a treble clef. And when you see that at the beginning of the music, it tells you that the instrument you're going to be hearing is kind of a middle sort of high instrument. And then the notes are all over in the staff here. I enjoyed showing you all of the special features of my case. Thank you for watching Case Files with the Reno Phil.